Hi Taurus, welcome to your May love reading. I send you much love and light. Happy Taurus season, you guys. I hope that you're having a beautiful Taurus season. And I just wanna say thank you for joining me today. So what's coming in for your love life? How are things gonna be for you? What are your messages from spirit? What do you need to know? What kind of energy is coming in? That's what we're going to look into today. And if you're new to my channel, my name is Lynn. This is Passion of Heart Tarot. Thank you all for being here. If you guys leave a like on the video, that would be great because it helps my channel out a lot. And if you haven't already subscribed, I do hope that you will. But let's just get right into the reading and see, you know, what's going on with you guys. All right, before I begin. Just want to take a moment to invite the white light of the Holy Spirit. All right, Taurus, let's take a look at the present. Let's see what's going on in your love life now. This can be really revealing for you guys. It can expose certain things if you feel like you have unanswered questions about a connection or your love life. Let's see what the energy is like around you currently. Wow, there's something that is definitely blossoming. Oh, so you have a person that I can see feels like I found you and there's no need for me to look anywhere else, be in contact with anyone else, think of anyone else. Like you have someone who shifted all of their focus into you and this connection with you. Feels like for some of you, you have something here that's blossoming. Could it be newer? But then that's really cute if you've been with your person for a while um, because of the way that it's so much romance being rekindled. Aquarius's energy has come through to us. Is anyone involved with an Aquarius or maybe your own moon or rising signs or there just could be cross watchers here? You have someone that is looking at you and I mean, they just feel like you're my wish you're my person. You are so beautiful to me from the inside out, head to toe. Someone looks at you and feels like you're everything that they could wish for and hope for and want in a partner. So either it's your current person's energy or you have someone that has their sight set on you and wants to approach you. Because if this person hasn't come your way yet, know that they want to. I feel like they will because I mean the the Knight of Want excuse me the Knight of Cups is someone that is looking for love and like they found you. That's the thing about it, Taurus. I've been looking for love. I found you. You're everything that I want. You're you're perfect, and now my sights are set on you. So this could be spirit letting you know how you have someone that is building up the courage to approach you because they are so awestruck by you and they look at you this way. Or for others of you, it's letting you know how your current person looks at you and how they feel. Um, and then for others of you, it could be a connection that's just um, newer and you have this person pursuing you. This person pursuing you is thinking about absolutely being married to you, having a family with you, uh, building a legacy with you. Because I'm telling you, what else could they look for, Taurus? This person feels like you are it and, and, and then some. Their highest wish and dream for what they could have in a partner, they feel like that's you in the flesh. So that's why currently... If, any, if they were talking to anyone else or like getting to know anyone else, block, done, cut off. Because who can compare to you? Nobody. And this person is smart because, I mean, they know what they're looking for and they know what they want. And they're so dead set on, I don't need to look anywhere else because you are who I've been looking for. That's just what it is. So this is letting you know how um, committed either your current person is or the one pursuing you right now. How committed they are and what they're dreaming about, what they're fantasizing about, their intentions towards you and what they really want. For others of you, the way that I can see this, this person's like romance blossoming in their heart 
they want to approach you, they're going to approach you. They don't have their sights set on anyone but you. So this is spirit letting you know that you have someone that's about to approach you, Taurus. I think that this person truly looks at you and feels like all my needs are met in this connection or will be met or could be met because it's like you are the end all be all. I mean, there's no other way to describe how significant being looked at as the star is. I mean, if you guys have been wanting someone to look at you and feel like you're the most beautiful person they've ever seen, to look at you and feel like there's nothing about you that they would ever dream of changing because you have everything that they want, looking at you with the intentions of building a legacy together, living a long life together, being committed to each other, being married, having a family and then for this person to be romantic and giving and generous and loving on top of it, that's what you have around you now. That's who you're dealing with now. Or it's spirit letting you know that you have someone presently around you that could bring that energy into your life. All right, Taurus, I'm going to look at this star. I mean, it's like, you're not mine yet, but I want you to be mine. And this is everything that I described to you guys. Look at the Empress is coming in. That is marriage material, wife material, husband material, mother material, father material, however you want to look at it. Like the fact that the Empress is coming through uh, to clarify the star is just uh, a confirmation to you from spirit that you... This person looks at you and like, you're going to be my future. You're going to be my future. That's what it is. You're going to be my future. I want you to be my future. I can see myself having everything with you. And if this is your current person, it's just spirit letting you know that something is really rekindled between the two of you. It's really like a spark is rekindled. And that's a beautiful thing if you've been with someone for a long time to see how emotional they are, how excited they are, how they look at you and like you are, you're the only one. Okay, Taurus. Wow, that's beautiful. That's what's going on around you guys now. And this could even be a really hopeful message for someone watching perhaps who feels like Maybe you, maybe someone here watching feels like they don't have anyone or they're wondering if maybe no one's interested. You definitely have someone interested in you who feels like you are incredible. And if you don't know that, spirit wants you to know that. Okay, Taurus. Now, let's look at the near future. The energy coming in. Let's see what will happen. interesting so there's definite for some of you here the person that i'm talking about in the beginning of your reading that is like so focused on you and really i'm telling you if there was anyone else that they were talking to they're out of the picture because you some of you here have a person that's coming back into your life so maybe you know reading the present for you guys could be spirit letting you know the way that you have someone that's like daydreaming about you and fantasizing about you. Or maybe they've made their move. They could have made their move recently and you're just like going through the motions of, okay, what are we going to do? Where are we going to go? Like, what is this going to be between us? The Five of Cups coming through in reverse is spirit letting us know that you're going to really reconnect with this person again, like get back together with them that's what it's about 
making up with someone that you were broken up with or apart from. So that's what I can see coming your way. So you know what's funny? For some of you here, the energy that I was reading for you at the beginning of the reading is this person um, that you have a history with that's coming back into the picture. That's what I can see. Because no matter how you look at it, what's coming in in May for you, Taurus, is someone that you, is just rekindling things with someone. The Nine of Cups even in reverse with the Ten of Swords. There's something that you're definitely going to find closure on. I will say that. For some of you, it's getting back together with this person. And that provides the closure that you've been wanting. So this is a special message to someone letting you know that it's not over. This person is currently thinking about you and is going to come back into your life. And I can see the two of you getting back together this month. For others of you, it's still there's there's still the energy of someone coming back into the picture and you get so much closure from that. You do, you get so much closure from this person coming back in. And you know what's funny is, I know some of you here watching this love the fact that this person is thinking about you and you feel like that empowers you and that gives you the upper hand because i will say this the way that i'm telling you that this person is crazy about you taurus i know that they feel that way currently and it makes me wonder if that's the same person that i can pick up on well what drove the two of you apart before and why do they feel so crazy about you now maybe they actually had to see what they lost if they had you at one point in time because i know for some of you when this person comes back into the picture it brings you closure, but not from embracing it. Closure because I can see you taking a step back and listening to everything that this person has to say to you. And maybe it's things that you've needed to hear from them for a long time in order to bring this closure and peace into your life. Because I know for some of you, even if you don't choose to embrace this person romantically, even though, yes, they will try and yes, the energy remains the same. That is how they look at you, Taurus, and that's how they feel about you. But for others of you, you know what? Maybe it's too little too late and you might tell this person that you're not going to open your heart up to them again, but maybe you hear them out because it's still returning to you and that's what brings you the closure and therefore forgiveness and releasing a painful cycle i just know that a painful cycle is coming to an end for you so either the painful cycle ends when this person tells you you know comes back into your life and tells you the things that i showed you at the beginning of the reading that's where the painful cycle ends and you close that chapter and start a new chapter with them and for others of you, it has to do with the way that you learn how they truly feel about you. They tell you the ways that they truly feel about you. And maybe that's everything that you always wanted to hear from them. But for some of you at this point, you could have decided that it's too little, too late for that. For some of you, it's amazing to hear that they feel this way about you now. But you may already be in a connection with someone else or thinking of someone else or, you know, seeing what's going to happen with someone else. And maybe you, you know, you hear them out and that relieves a lot of unanswered questions and, and pain and you know, being in limbo, waiting for something. Because I know for some of you here, you decide not to move forward with this person, but I still see you getting the closure. So know that closure is coming in no matter how you look at it, Taurus. I want to look at this Five of Cups. So some of you will kind of see that now the tables have turned. But even though the tables have turned, you decide that, you know what, it's not right for me, but you appreciate what they have to say. And for others of you, the tables turn 
and you choose to get back together with this person. It's not so easily done, even though some of you here, I do see you getting back together with them. I still feel like you'll put them to the test. You know, as in you kind of hold back Taurus and I don't think you're going to wear your heart on your sleeve and just like put all your cards out on the table. I feel like you're going to really observe this person and see so you can see the truth for yourself. All right, I want to look at this five of cups. See, that's the thing about it is makes me wonder what happened to bring the two to drive the two of you apart, I should say, in the first place. Was this person rude to you? Or did they treat you in a way that you didn't expect to be treated? For some of you here, I know that you look at them and, and feel like you saw a really ugly side to them. But I'm telling you that this person coming back is going to be fully humble and apologetic. So I feel like seeing them come back in that energy of super apologetic and leaving their ego at the door for maybe being like an egomaniac before, I know that's what brings you so much closure. And maybe even though you still say no, you get a lot of closure there for seeing how much the tables have turned. But for others of you, it's still the same energy of them being humble and apologetic. And I think you, you look at them and are grateful that you see this side. You know, even though you saw an ugly side to them before, you're going to see how much they regret it. And when you see how much they regret it, I feel like that's what makes you really hear them out. So I can actually see now for those of you that ultimately choose to embrace this person again, I feel like you're going to spend a lot of quality time with them. I think you're going to have long conversations. I think that you're going to, you know, maybe go out on a date with this person, you know, spend time with them. Um, and you do most of the listening. So there's a lot of things that they're going to tell you. The two of wands says a lot because it's about really being present with this person and analyzing things. And when it goes in two different directions because for some of you, when you're present with them and you analyze things, you're going to decide uh, that you feel that you believe uh, the apologies and you see the changes. And you're going to decide to close the chapter on the painful past and move forward with this person. And then for others of you, you just can't see it happening. Even though they're saying all the right things, for some of you here, it just feels like it's too little too late and you just can't picture being with this person again. So you're gonna get what you want no matter how you look at it, Taurus. Even if you've happily moved on, I can still see where this brings you closure. So you're going to get what you've, even if you've happily moved on, I know that for some of you here, there's a part of you that still would like to receive an apology from this person or to see um, the tables turn with them. It still gives you that closure. And then for others of you, you're going to get what you want if you've been wanting them to, to um, try and get back together with you and apologize to you. All right, that's what's going on. So definitely finding closure. Let's look even deeper, Taurus. Let's get some more messages for you guys and see. For others of you, what kind of energy is coming in? See, I, I try to dig. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. This is crazy. Okay, you guys have to see these energies coming through. 
this ace of cups eight of cups ten of cups and then the tower look at this, this is crazy because it's such an emotional whirlwind but then you see the queen of swords as the overall energy the initial m has come through as well as leo's energy now is your name with an m taurus or this person or is that initial significant to you somehow or are there leo cross watchers here or maybe you're involved with a leo or it could be moon or rising signs or who's coming back into the picture this is almost like a heads up to someone that wants to return into Taurus's life. Now is not the time to hold back. Because what I can see happening is a, a, another message of someone returning into your life, Taurus. I mean, the Eight of Cups in reverse is just that. Someone who was gone and now they're coming back. So may, where, why were they gone though? Because... You may not have necessarily broken up with this person. Maybe you guys just drifted apart, moved apart. Maybe they moved or uh, they started, they traveled somewhere and now they're coming back home. That could be the case for some of you here. The Ace of Cups in reverse. See, you don't, something, if it feels lopsided, it's going to get jacked up. That's what I will say. So let me explain this to you guys. If anyone here is watching, thinking of returning into a Taurus's life, and you know that you want to return because you miss them, and they feel like home to you, and there's just, this person just does something for your heart and soul the way that I can see, the way that no one else does, and you love them with all of your heart, and your heart belongs to them, now is not the time to hold back. Because if you hold back, it's going to really put the connection in jeopardy. So either, like, whoever wants to return into Taurus's life needs to go big or go home. Because I'm telling you here, this is like open honest love and expressing it shouting it from the rooftops telling everyone about it and like truly feeling like i'm in love with this person and i'm expressing myself right but then you have this contradictory energy the ace of cups in reverse it's like okay this person feels even stronger than this one but they're not saying it and they're holding back and it's like if you're coming back into the picture come all the way i i say that because that's what if if they don't i feel like it really drives a wedge and then like pride someone their pride gets the best of them because they're looking at things and feeling like it's unrequited when it's actually not and that's the crazy tragedy of it all and that's what could make you guys go into separation again so that's what the energy is like for for others of you, Taurus, if you want to take this message from spirit. It's so ironic to me that the two of you love each other, are crazy in love with each other. And that is deep. It is real. It is true. One of you expresses it wholeheartedly, openly. And the other one, like I said, is even more in love than, than this person, but they're holding back so much. Like, see now's the time it's not the time for you to hold back or limit yourself for whoever it is that knows they feel this way and they want maybe return to someone's life or even if that's your energy taurus not to put pressure on you but i can see someone coming back into the picture again and so this person coming back into the picture could actually be the one in this ten of cups energy like i described of being so expressive and just um, openly expressing and telling the other one what they feel. And I know that some of you here feel even, you, you love this person even more. But you're holding back as a, it feels like it's a defense mechanism. It feels like you're thinking about why the two of you drifted apart or broke up in the first place. So you feel all of these things, but you're not letting it out. And it could really come across as like you're not interested when in fact you are. 
and then pride starts to kick in and it's like my pride is getting the best of me i want this commitment but i'm not gonna just like you know stick around if it's unrequited if i'm not gonna stick around if they don't feel the way that i do but the crazy thing is they actually do they feel it more so this is like a prediction if someone holds back they really stand the chance of that person walking out of their life and i don't say that to put pressure on anyone you know i'll just tell you what the energies are like taurus and you'll react the way that you choose to react or take from it what you choose to take from it but that's what's going on for others of you it's crazy ironic that the love is just insane between the two i don't know how else to describe it because this is like euphoric this is like honeymoon this is like head over heels love of my life but then when you see it come in reverse it's in reverse because of the overwhelming feeling of it all of you know holding back and not speaking but it just feels like the time is here the time is now and the worst thing that someone can do around taurus's energy is be deeply deeply in love and not express that to this person, especially if the person that they're deeply in love with is openly telling them like, you're the love of my life. I'm so in love with you. I want to be with you forever. You're, you're, you're it for me. You're the only one. Like, Just now is not the time for someone to limit what they want to say and how they feel around Taurus's energy, whether it's you, Taurus, or maybe the way someone is being with you because it just has this, this terrible adverse effect of things seeming one way when they're actually not that way. This is a very sensitive energy and I can see that one of you here is really putting your heart, heart on the line and being so expressive. So of course, if you don't get that back, of course that's going to feel like it's a rejection. Of course, I think that would make anyone feel like their pride is hurt and they're defensive. If they feel like it's a rejection or it's unrequited or it's lopsided. So I know it's really touchy because I can't, I can't tell anyone to like do something that they're uncomfortable with. I just know that I can see the outcome. What happens if someone in this connection holds back what they truly feel? They stand the risk of losing it they stay on the risk of losing it maybe even all over again i want to look at that tower card you see that this is the nine of swords and then there is the pride coming through again um my pride's getting the best of me. Leo's energy here is just doubling down now. So I wonder if you guys Leo's cross watching or maybe your person is a Leo or this is a Leo coming in or your moon or rising signs. Do you see that nine of swords? I mean, it's just like agony for all the things that I should have said. It's replaying a conversation over and over and over and feeling like it didn't go my way and I regret it so much. I regret it so, so much. It's just like another kick to someone from spirit. If you hold back when the opportunity presents itself, it's gonna really put the connection in jeopardy. So some of you here, that could be you and you choose to like really break things off with someone when you feel like they're not in love with you the way that you're in love with them, which is crazy because Taurus, I'm telling you that they are, they love you even more. And then for others of you, it's like reverse because the reading is general. It's reverse. So, you know, you could be the one that is holding back everything that you feel because you're analyzing everything or you're not quite sure about revealing it or you're not quite sure about taking a risk and fully like 
going all into the connection again for some of you. So maybe you're just listening more and observing more, but it's crazy that it comes across as you don't feel the way that I feel. You don't want what I want. So communication obviously is going to be really important around your energy, Taurus. When I look at this spread, for those of you that resonate with this energy, it's going to be really important. And maybe for whoever it is that's holding back, would you consider explaining what makes you hesitant to this person? Because I know that that could help a lot. Because if it's just held back and unspoken, the other one's going to get the, the wrong idea. And I, I just see so much regret. I, you know what's funny is like there's just so much regret that's here. And like my pride is getting the best of me now. And I will say this because this message is coming through. And then a lot is revealed in this reading. Okay, so whoever it is that is in this energy of openly and, and easily expressing the love that they feel for the other one. I'm telling you here and now, I know I can sit here and tell you it's not the same as this person telling you, but I'm telling you, they're more in love with you than you are with them. They're just holding back right now. They're holding back. It has to do with pride and it has to do with them needing to, they're looking for a sign, a moment where they feel I can reveal my heart and go all in. They want to go all in. They're just waiting for the right time, what they feel is the right time. So if you in this energy watching, you're super expressive, the other one is holding back, I will say this to you, really think before you do anything hasty. I, I have to say that because the tower is like, um, it feels like it's boom, all of a sudden I just let my emotions get the best of me. And I'm just reacting based on emotion and not really logic. And pride. My pride is hurt. You may actually end up regretting those actions if you're the one that puts an end to things because they're not reacting in the time that you want them to react or they're not saying things in the time or moment that you want them to say it. Because what the two of you have is, is it's worth so much and it's not worth messing up. And I can see where things could really get messed up from being emotional and hasty and then also the holding back. So it's kind of like you guys, if you could find middle ground, that would be amazing only because this is so worth saving because you have something incredible. And I can see the two of you feel things for each other that you've never felt with anyone else. So, of course, you don't want to just throw that away. You know, it's it's just maybe important for someone who does feel they need to hold back if they would consider just telling the other one what's going on with them. And even for someone here who's super expressive, to tell the other one that you feel is holding back from you, to tell them what you need in order to feel safe and secure. Tell, you know, maybe tell them that because I, I, I have to say it because this is so worth saving. And if it's someone that's coming back into the picture again, Taurus, like a second chance or third chance, whatever, at the connection. Or maybe like they've just been gone because for some of you here, maybe this person is like in the military and they're coming back. All of the emotions are here. And the two of you are crazy about each other. I can just see where there's a chance. It's crazy because it's on both ends. It's a chance to really mess things up because of a misunderstanding, because of misinterpreting things, and also because of someone not expressing what's truly in their heart. Just because I can see it doesn't mean that it has to happen. See, I feel like there's a lot of messages coming through for you, Taurus, on maybe, maybe how to move a little bit differently if you resonate with this energy. You know, you'll take from it what you feel is, is best for you and what's right for you. And I can see where emotions for some of you here are at an all-time high. I mean, the Tower, the Queen of Cups, the Ten of Cups, the Ace of Cups, the Eight of Cups. It looks like for some of you, emotions run so high that it can be difficult to see 
the truth about a connection when things are this emotional. Because when things are this emotional, it can get irrational quick. So I feel like there's a lot of messages coming through for you, Taurus, on maybe how to handle things or look at things if you relate to this. But that's what I can see going on. All right, you guys. So those are the messages that I have for you from Spirit. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Again, happy Taurus season. If you guys want to help out my channel, I mean, all you have to do is leave a like on the video. That helps me a lot. Or maybe even subscribe if you enjoy the reading or you enjoy my readings and you haven't already subscribed. I do hope that you will. And I just want to say thank you again, Taurus. I know that some of the messages are a little bit touchy, but I just want to remind you where these messages come from because it's never a judgmental place. It's only a place of love and light just intended to help. And I do hope that it does. Thank you again. I love you so much and I'll see you guys in the next reading.